How are you guys doing? In today's video, we are in Driving Empire. I will be redeeming all of you Driving Empire codes. All of these Driving Empire codes will really, really help you guys out. And yeah, I mean, we got some new codes here to redeem. All of these codes will basically give you a ton of money. So you can get a car like that I have right over here. So if you guys want good cars, redeem the codes I've got to show you. But anyway, I'm gonna get stuck right in. And if you guys need anything, such as money in Driven Empire, even more, like and subscribe because I'm giving out Robux all the time. All you need to do to get yourself some Robux is like and subscribe. Have you liked and subscribed? Have you? I'm waiting. If you have, call me your username. I'll give you some Robux. But let's get started. Alright guys, so I did just buy this brand new car and yeah, I know I was flexing it a little bit, but you know what? This is like one of my fa most favourite cars and when I saw it in the shop, I just had to buy it. But there's one thing that it's missing. I need to basically upgrade it, I need to change the colours on it, I need to do quite a lot here. So yeah, I'm just going to fully max it out pretty much. Alright guys, so I did just fully max out of this car now, just look how fast it is now, and just keep in mind, it's a pretty cheap car, it's like 200,000, but you know what, it does look pretty sick, and it is fast, so yeah, and something for you guys I'm really lucky there, is this, are you ready, what does that say, what does that say, that's actually too sick, I'm not gonna lie, and let's have a look inside the car, I guess. Let's look inside. Interior. Actually insane, guys, this car is. You can't even lie. So, yeah, check this out. Look at the speed on this thing. Look at that. So, let's see what the top speed is. Apparently, it's 180. But now, after upgrading it, it's like 200. Which is pretty good. And when I put on the boost, it goes up to like 220 or something. Alright guys, so let's redeem every single working code, starting with the code a bird 100k, code a springtime, code Canada, code is going to be code, there's the next code, enter that code in, I do just need to remove a space, enter that code in, that do just give me some money, and you also got the code oops my bad lol, like that, enter that code in, and nice, I've now messed up my screen guys, I'm actually need to leave and rejoin. Oh there we go, we fixed it. So yeah, we got the code oops and my bad lol, and have that code in. Without the space in, I keep on putting the space at the start, remove the space, there we go, enter that one in. And yeah, I mean, unfortunately that's the only working code. Oh, did I show you guys the code Canada as well, is this how you spell it? Can... No... Uh, is that the code of that? I spelled it wrong. I'm pretty sure you spelled it. I did already show you guys the code, but oh, it's this. Love that. With all fours in. The code is still working, by the way. So m make sure you redeem that one. And yeah, I mean, hopefully, we do get some more code soon. And nice. I'm now stuck. There we go, I fixed it. I hate, actually, it's kind of better manual, guys. So you can put the car in manual like this. And check this out. So I'm driving, I'm stuck at 30 miles an hour. Look at that. And then, second gear, 60. No, it should be like 80. No, 120. Or 100. No, 120. Yo, guys, what's the point in having a boost, right? When I go max speed and I use a boost and it caps at 215. I mean, I know it makes your acceleration go a lot faster. But isn't a boost to make your car go even more faster? I'll show you guys now. 
So you're ID 203, it's Capta. Now it's Capta 215. It's a joke. Oh, it just went flying after the stop for boost. So you ready? Watch this. I think anyway. So you use the boost. Oh, it's going up. Yeah. It's weird, guys, the mechanics in this game. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually glad that I got this car now. Yeah, but the handling of this car is unreal. Like, generally, you can't speed out. And by the way, I've got stuck wheels on. And yeah, it just goes to show how good this car is. Make sure that you guys buy this car if I do send you some Robux and you're thinking about getting this car that I've got right now, make sure if you try to get it because honestly, I think you guys might like it. And yeah, I mean, if I'm giving you Robux to get a car for free, you don't really care about the money that you got. You know, you're just going to spend it on whatever you want. So yeah, I really recommend you guys getting this car. It did come out in the last update. It's just really, really good. I mean, I wish I had a faster car though, if I'd done like 300 miles an hour. Every car that I had get capped at 200 miles an hour. I should have just bought like, I don't know. I really need a proper fast type of car, but they're so expensive. Look, I'm not even joking, I've a ex look at that. I had to spend 200 Robux for 50,000 cash. 200 Robux is a lot. And for a million, it's 2.4 thousand Robux, which is a lot. I'm pretty sure I started off with a hypercar, but now I lost it because I sold it and I ended up getting like a really bad car, which was a bad mistake. But yeah, that's basically all of the cold guys in Driving Empire. Hopefully all of those cold helped you out, and I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.